morning guys geez look where i am beautiful crew river always wanted to put my boat in here never never brought the boat along but i had a little romantic getaway so on the way home i snuck i snuck the boat on to go away and on the way home we put it in here at the crew river and this bridge i've always wanted to fish this in the center i reckon there'll be some big fish holding in here Unfortunately, we only got frozen bait, but we've got some good quality frozen bait. I've got slimy mackerel, squid, pilchards. I even got a, beach, a couple of beach worms in there, so I'm sure we'll catch some. Let's get some baits in the water and see what happens. Pretty late start, but I reckon we'll go all right. All right, look at that for a slimy mackerel. Just frozen ones, but beautiful little guy. And I've got a 6-0 hook there. Fishing quite light here. It's only 15 pound line there and 15 pound braid it goes on there. But I'm just gonna go a whole big bait. So I've got a feeling there's gonna be some big ones. So if we can get a decent bait in, we'll have a decent chance. So I'll try and rig this one up. I'm very unprepared. I don't even think I've got a knife on board here, but that's all right, we'll only go big baits anyway. So we need, want this barb exposed because when big fish take it, they generally will swallow the whole fish. And a lot of the times they don't chew it. So if your hook's not showing, you probably won't hook up. So I've got the barb exposed there, as you can see. It's gonna sit nice in the current. Got a small beam sinker on there. Believe it or not, it's 15 meters deep here. Very deep, so let's drop this down. We may have to upgrade that little bean sinker to see if we can get down. Feed it back to that pile on there. Hopefully it's a big pile. Over. I reckon I need the net here, mate. Might need the net. Jeez. Not much fight in it though. The big flatty or something odd. Or you got your specialty rock fish. Yeah, it's a oh stick god. fish. Oh my god. I told you, wow. you are the expert oh at catching unusual things. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you did. Took it like a fish, did it, mate? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, oh, I think you got a fish on. I do think you got a fish on. You got, you got a fish. <laughs> you weren't imagining that. There you go. Okay. Back on the lure. Just thought I'd have a flick of a lure and... Oh, nice little flatty. There you go. It's worth a flick of the lure, wasn't it? Ha! Beat ya. Biggest fish so far. Yeah, it's good. As soon as it bottom, bang. Beautiful fish. We got one there. What do I snag something? Sideways or something? Have I got a stick? <laughs> Have I got a stick like you did? I think it's caught on a rock or something. Oh. No, it's not the anchor. It's it was a fish, but now I feel it's something else. No, oh, no, it's a fish. I've just hooked him in the side. Oh, there we go, a backwards one. <laughs> Bring back. I snagged another one in the side here. What's going on here? I think I've jagged him again. What's going on with me jagging fish? Yep, I've lassoed him. Look, I haven't even hooked him. I lassoed him. Look at that. Hook is around the belly. Now, I've done this a few times with Brim. I don't know how. He's not even hooked. He's not even hooked at all. Here we go. 
Less, a less lewd brain. Say to you. Beautiful. Another brain bay. There you go. Whoa. Maybe the fight, this one. Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> the camera show he was. A little wiping. Could we get into some nice little wiping here? There we go. Pretty a baby whiting that one. We're just using some worms here on the long shank. Doing the job nicely, lots of bites. First fish. Oh, got one. You got one. What do we got here? Another little whiting. Slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. See the little worm on there. Beach worm we're using. Not the textbook bait that seems to be doing the job. Size yet, that? He whiting. Tons of them. Whiting everywhere. What do you think about it? Oh, I'm just going in. Whiting after whiting here, but no real big ones. Getting slightly bigger. These aren't the sand whiting. These are the trumpeter whiting. A stripe on them. More translucent colour. Whiting after whiting. Get my phone. <laughs> Non-stop whiting. These guys are probably keepers. Oh. A little flathead, is it? Not different. <laughs> Tiny little flathead. Use the old bread and butter fishing when you're using small baits, long shanks. Not my usual type of fishing, but can be quite fun. Yeah, mate. Got him. <laughs> Out number ten. <laughs> Morning guys, as promised, day two, back out in the ocean today. Very late start, had a bit of a sleep in after my holiday as expected, but we'll see if we can try to get a couple of snapper. So I got the Pananoska rig, Pananoska rig's just a three-way swivel there. I'm using 15 pound line, another three way swivel. I'm running four o hooks and a little snapper sinker. It's just a small one, guys. I'm not sure of the size there, but just a small one. Pananoska rig's are great for a feeler rig. Get down there quick, and splay a couple of type of different baits on there, and yeah, get a lot of variety that way. I will be running floater rigs as well. Floater rigs are good. More natural appearance and get that bigger fish on the floaters. So we've got a few Bonito strips. Send them out as floaters. Hopefully we get some good fish. I want a couple of snapper to take home. It would be beautiful. Do a catch and cook. Love my snapper. When you come outside, you do spend a bit of money getting out here, so... It's nice to take a couple of fish home, especially snapper. Really good eating. Alright, 
fingers crossed, late start, like I said. Should have been out here about two and a half hours ago. Anyway. Oh, there's one. Oh, dropped him. It didn't take long, but that felt like a snapper, guys. So, here we go. Good start. We've got some pellets here. Soaked in tune oil. Just doing the odd handful here and there, scattering them out. There's the floater, guys. Exactly what it says it is. No sinker at all, just a hook. I'm getting done on the other one here. Oh, I missed him. Floater's getting an inquiry here. Oh, I got him this time, I think. Jeez, a little bit of weight. Might be a bit sharky. Might be a bit Port Jackson-y or something. A lot of weight there, Jesus. Now my other rod's going off great. It's choose your way. And one's going off, the other's going off. I reckon it's the Port Jackson or something. Something not very exciting. So other rods going off here. I'll probably hook up here. shark. What a banjo shark. Not what you want. This other rod's probably hooked up. Come on mate, get off. Yeah, cod. Ready cod. You don't want to get spiked by these fellas. Give you a bit of sting they do. Oh, little one feels a bit snappery I think. Yep, they're starting to come on. Starting to come on. Second in a row. Might just get on here. Bit better snapper here by the feel of him. A little bit bigger. Nothing major. But it's a sign things are starting to happen. Hope it's a keeper. I really would like a couple of fish to take home. It's died off a lot now. Oh, yeah, he's a keeper. Really beautiful. Big fat belly on him. Nice solid fish. Perfect for the table. About 30 centimetres. Would like him a bit bigger. Around that 40 would be nice, but we'll take what we can get at the moment. Oh, what have I got this time? What have I got this time? A bit of weight, but not much kick. Just not thinking it's so exciting. Big cod, is it? Another big cod. Ooh, big boy. Look at the size of that cod. Over a kilo that baby. He's well over a kilo. Look at the bucket now from him. <laughs> that is a huge cod. Absolute monster. These are good eating. They really are a really nice fish to eat. A little bit difficult to clean but well rewarded with the poor man lobster I might even keep that guy and do a catch and cook he's such a beautiful cod huge cod I took the floater here Jesus got some weight 
<laughs> this could be a shark or something, guys. A lot of weight, unless he just doesn't realise he's hooked yet. A lot of weight there. Yeah, just a floating strip of bonito. Could be a shark. Whoa, he's woken up now. Jesus. This isn't good. There he goes. Yeah, that was a shark, guys. Just touched the braid with his tail, I'd say, and snapped the clean off. Oh, straight on the this rod. That feels a bit snappery. A little bit snappery. <laughs> From one rod to the other at the moment. Yeah, this feels a bit snappery, guys. Let's hope for a nice, nice 40 centimetre job here. Maybe a bit bigger. Starting to happen. Starting to happen. Geez, that was it. <laughs> wake up that other one what took off well wow. go for 100 miles now yeah nice little snapper yeah that 40 i think yeah beauty that's what we're after bit bigger snapper Whew. beautiful it's happening now guys getting a little whiskey together almost do me a couple of snapper in that big bloody cod Here we go guys, beautiful snapper. Along with this red rock cod, I'll tell you what, that is gonna be a big feed, that rock cod. And anyway, you get to see how white that flesh is. It's a good feed there anyway. Shark. That's probably what I had on before guys, good size hammerhead I'd say. He's a good couple of meters, that one. Strip of tailor getting done here. It is. Probably another shark, who knows. Whatever it is, I got it. I feel that big, considering it's a whole fill of the tail of oh, Yaga. Sergeant Baker. Due for one of them, haven't caught one yet. There we go. Would you? That's unbelievable, guys. I'm in the ocean. I'm well and truly in the ocean on the reef. And I got a dusky flathead. No blue spot, a dusky. That just goes to show those big rains must have just really flushed a lot of the fish out. It's not often you catch a dusky 35 meters on an outside reef. Not very often at all. Very rare catch, actually. You'd be expecting a blue spot, but you certainly wouldn't be expecting, um, certainly wouldn't be expecting a dusky. You can see, dusky, there you go. No blue spot, but nice little platter we've got now. Two snappers, a flathead and a cod. They're all beautiful eating fish, guys. Really beautiful eating fish. Top dollar fish, so I'm about right. We might give it a little bit longer, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's what I wanted, a bit of a feed. And that's all that matters. Putting the feed on the table, that's why we do it, guys. Yeah, pretty amazed by that, actually. Flathead on the um, reef, very unusual. 
Oh, it feels a little snappery. Not real big, but it feels maybe the keeper. Just a little snapper. Little fella. A little snapper by the feel of it. Look the action out here. She's good. Keeps you busy. All nice eating fish, snappers and flatheads. It's probably another keeper, but I don't like keeping them around 20, around that 30. I like keeping them a bit bigger. Oh, a bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger indeed. We wanted starting to get in some nice snappers now. Geez, they're fat. <laughs> Look at the condition of them, they're so fat. Spike him, get him in the esky. At least it's paid, paid for itself now. Nice little feed. Starting to come on now. Look here. Oh, not bad one. Not a bad one at all. Ooh, might be the snapper of the day here. Very unusual. They're coming on the bite as the day's going on. I am using a lot of burley though, so maybe that's bringing them on. Feels alright. Ooh, what have we got? Big Taylor. Didn't expect that. Variety keeps coming. Big old just bit me off just as I lifted him, he bit me off. Look at that. That's the winter. Camera's a bit crooked there. There's the winter's tailor coming in. That's a big one. Oh, bloody beauty. I don't really need him. Could keep him for bait, but no, nah, I might let him go. Let that one go. Oh, fish after fish, so much variety. Love coming out the reef. So much, never know what's going to come in. You can get anything out here. So much fish out here. You do go through your bait quick, so you do want a good supply of pilchards and bonito, whatever you're going to use. You will go through a lot of bait. There, the fish are coming in, guys. The fish are coming in now. It is. <laughs> I just landed that big tailor. Turn the camera on. And we're on again. It's fish after fish at the moment. Love these reef bashing. So many fish out here. What have we got this time? Another big tailor. Tailor removed in now. Bloody two bloody big tailors. <laughs> oh god. This one's taking a bit of a hit. It's a bit bloody in the gill there. We might keep that one. I don't like chucking them back when they're damaged. We'll let that one go. He's nice and healthy. I've almost had enough guys. Sore arms again as normal. Normal sore arm adventures. But, yeah, I have to keep this one. He's got a little bit of damage, so we'll put him to good use. <laughs> I am on. Oh, I just dropped him. So many fish down there. Oh, non-stop. And last pilchard, guys. Last pilchard. He bit me off, whatever that was. Big tailor, I'd say. It's gonna go the head. Oh, two heads. 
We'll go two heads. Two heads are better than one, they say. It's getting a bit hot out here now. It's starting to get to that 11 o'clock. Usually the bike slows down. I overheat. I slow down. So we'll be heading soon, but we've got a good feed in the esky. Good variety, good fun. Good fun out here. <laughs> Just thought I'd chuck the lure out on the way in. Still bonito around, it's good to see. Well, I don't know if it's bonito actually, but I did get some bonito. Benito. It's good to see. But the handle fell out. That's a screw. It's in the net. Don't know what's happened there. I'll keep him for bait anyway. That's it guys. I had fun out here. Good variety. Caught nearly everything. What did we get? Flathead, snappers, sharks. I can't even remember. Cods, tailors, everything we got. We really did. But we got a good feed, which is the main thing. Good quality fish, which is clean fish outside the ocean. I love my ocean fish, so I'll cook up a big feed when I get home. All right. Okay, guys, back at the grill here. Got the butter in the pan, nice simple butter. And we're gonna do a test here. We've got the poor man's lobster, the red rod cod. You can see how white it is compared to the rest. We've got the flathead and we've got the snapper. Three beautiful eaten fish, the snapper and the flathead top notch. Be interesting to see how the, oh, oh, hit the element there. Be interesting to see how the lobster compares to the rest. All right, we're gonna cook these all exactly the same way. Just, Perfectly cooked in butter, lemon and salt. Keep it clean, keep it simple, and we'll get a verdict. We'll get a verdict. I've got a feeling the rock cod's gonna be the best, but it's been a while since I've eaten them. And I tell you, everyone chucks them back, but geez, they're pretty damn good. But I'll be the judge of that once it's cooked up. This won't take long. It's only gonna cook for probably two minutes, maybe three minutes, minute and a half each side. They're all about the same thicknesses, so uh, possibly the cod's a bit thicker. So we might give him a little bit longer. Want to keep it even. And we get a nice level playing field, so there's going to be no biased decision. So we'll start off with the cod because he's the thickest. We'll give him about an extra. 45, 45 seconds, maybe a minute, and then we'll move on to the thinner cuts. And I really, you can't beat even fish like this. It's a clean, simple way. When you get these light tasting fish, really light flavors it's good to enjoy them simple ways you get those stronger tasting fish and you can add more flavor to it because you want to cover it up a bit this is all beautiful eating fish so lemon salt and butter can't go wrong all right i reckon we'll get that snapper on now he's about the next thickest these are all being boned out there's no bones in them and then we'll get that flavor in as well. All right, it's only gonna take about a minute. About a minute and a half each side, I reckon. And we're done. Okay, that looks about right to me. Should be beautiful. Get that cod out first. Snapper. And the good old flathead. As I said, all good eating fish, but we'll be the judge which one's best. Very interesting. Can't wait to dig into this. 
so hungry. I'm just gonna get a bit of salt on all of them, nice even spread, and a bit of lemon on all of them. All cooked exactly the same way, about the same amount of time. So here we go. This is gonna be, put an argument to it, the end to it all for me. Flathead. And flathead's always nice. It's got that silky, silky feel in your mouth. Quite light flavour. Mmm, can't beat a flathead. Beautiful. Alright, let's try this snapper out. Bit less silky in your mouth. A little bit more texture. There you go. That's flathead's definitely silkier in your mouth. Maybe a little bit more oil than the f snapper. Just feels a bit silkier. Let's try the cod out now. Wow, guys. These are so soft. It's got good flakes. Look at the flakes, it's pulling away nice. Good texture and a really, really nice flavor. Look, it comes down to me, look, I like them all, but it comes down to the flathead and cod, but the cod just beats it, it really does. Really clean, really good texture. Wow, yeah. And we chuck them away all the time. They are a bit of a pain to clean, but I usually just whack the fillets off them and that way you don't have to touch them, don't have to deal with them. Bone them out. Beautiful. There you go. All right, guys. If you ain't fishing, you're wishing. And I'll see you on the water. Catches.